Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're comparing the New Balance Beacon 3 against the A6 Dynablast. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things. Here's a link to where you can get both of these shoes. Now, we've got two sort of awesome daily trainers from New Balance and A6. I thought it'd be great to compare these two, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here we go, A6 versus New Balance. Now I'm a fan of both of these brands. If you're new to the channel, I love both of these brands. Uh, I've been falling in love with New Balance this year. Uh, I've always been a fan of A6. Now this is the latest sort of shoe from the uh, Flight Foam Blast family from A6. Uh, you've got the Nova Blast and you've got the Road Blast. And this kind of sits in the middle. And then you've got the new version of the Beacon, uh, which is a very popular shoe, daily training shoe. Uh, so where do we start? Let's talk about the stats and the features. Firstly, let's do the ASICs. So this shoe is 110 pounds uh, over here in the UK. It's got the Flight Foam Blast, which I mentioned a second ago. You've got this knit upper, um, which increases support and ventilation. You've got midsole cutouts uh, underneath. I'll show you that in a second where they've cut out some of the weight. Uh, the uh, AHA rubber, which I always pronounce wrong, is, is decent enough. Um, the shoe's got a 12 mil drop, 8.8 .8 ounces, and like I said before, 110 quid. Then we've got the New Balance Beacon 3, which is under £100, 99.99 people, which is a bit of a steal. You've got the Fresh Foam Midsole, uh, and that's a little bit on the outsole as well. You've got some Fresh Foam down there, and they stuck on some strategically, if I could speak English, place rubber uh, pods uh, for the durability where needed. You've got an engineered mesh upper. Uh, the shoe weighs 8.5 ounces for a 9.5. You've got a 6 mil drop. And yeah, it's just a nice, lightweight, supportive shoe. Right, okay, so where do we start? Uh, check out both the videos on these shoes, by the way. Uh, I think, firstly, the fit is slightly different in these shoes. Um, if you can see, uh, this is actually, see how long that is, the ASICs. This definitely feels long and narrow compared to this. Uh, if you've got a wider foot, I would say straight away, go for the New Balance Beacon. Uh, this sort of, pinches in a little bit it doesn't give you any issues but just be aware i would i would try and make sure you get your sizing absolutely right i'm a uk nine and a half and it's okay but it is it is noticeably pinching in um compared to some of these shoes like this so that's something to bear in mind the outsoles are great uh, on both of these shoes um this performed well i had this out in, in a mucky wet 5k down the canal path and it done really well this is okay i do find little bits of dirt get stuck in the little bits of um indentations on the outsole but it's not a problem uh both are grippy enough but definitely the a6 is uh i feel a little bit better in the rain uh, versus the new balance uh in terms of ride i would say the a6 is a little bit more bouncy um and a little bit softer versus the fresh foam although i actually prefer and I can't believe I'm saying this, but the, the ride of the Fresh Foam, and, and I'm saying that because I'm not a massive fan of, of the Fresh Foam uh, midsole. I prefer the fuel cell midsole. I just love the responsiveness you get from that. But actually out of the two, I prefer the feel from the, um, from the Fresh Foam. The Flight Foam Blast for me left me a little bit wanting more. Uh, I think after having the Nova Blast, which was, was quite responsive and actually almost too soft in places, they it sort of, I don't know, it, it didn't live up to the expectations uh, for me personally. Um, so out of the two, in terms of, uh, of how the feel, I would go with the Beacon 3. Uh, the uppers, this is definitely more breathable than this. Uh, the knit upper in this is a little bit warmer. Um, I did a long run in those and they did get a little bit warm. I've not had any issues with that. Uh, some problems I've had with this, and it's worth noting, ankle socks, don't wear them with this shoe because this will cut your ankles to pieces. I've had no issues with fit. Uh, on this shoe uh, around the heel area at all, no heat spots, no no, no problems at all. Both lace down, good, decent amount of support um, from the midfoot lockdown. But where do we go in terms of where do you spend your money? Well, personally, I'd buy the Beacon. Why? It's under £100. I know it's only a 10 or more, but I think this is a better all-round, more versatile shoe than this. I prefer the Fresh Foam in this versus the Blast in this, even though the Blast is good. I was just wanting more out of this shoe. Uh, and that's why I think this one comes in. It's just that say it's a little bit more versatile. It's got a better fit, a wider fit, and I think it offers that little bit more value. So there you go, people. The Dyna Blast and the Beacon Three. I would go for the Beacon Three. 